You guys know that Ray means king, right? Dr. Ray, the king of beauty, the king of health. I want to talk a little bit. No creature more honest in the world than Dr. Ray. This combination of Brazilian and Hollywood creates a creature, and Mormon creates a creature who is so, so <laughs> honest. You guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about juices. Already you're on the paleo diet. Already you're walking every night before going to bed. And you write me and say, Ray, what the fuck? <coughs> I can't lose weight. So I want to talk about juices, right? Ray, what should I drink? So simple, you guys. Just like medicine. Just look, Einstein wrote what? E equals MC squared. The most important and critical things in life are very simple. Alright you guys, all drinks make you gain weight, except for water and a little squeeze of lemon, okay? So the most important drink I want you to drink all the time is water. I want you to consume 8 glasses of water a day because you lose 120 cc's of fluid per hour. How? through your eyes, evaporation through your mouth, normal, through your skin, normal, you have to replace that. The, output, the urine output we want is 30 cc's, 30 cc's uh, every hour, okay? So that's our goal. How do you know you're at the right level? I want your pee to not be clear, too much hydration. The girls that spend all day drinking water, they dilute their electrolytes and they have seizures. So if your pee is perfectly clear, drinking too much. If your pee is a really heavy yellow, really, really heavy yellow, then you are too dehydrated. Just look at your pee, you guys. Life is simple, okay? I want that light yellow. That's how we doctor de determine where you are in your hydration, okay? Um, all right, so the mucous membra membrane is wet, your eyes wet, and your pee light yellow. So water with a squeeze of lemon really is all that I want you to drink. Uh, hydration, I know I explained to you, we're 75% water. Why the lemon? We have the bad wolf and the good wolf in our GI tract. The good wolf, probiotics. The bad wolf, uh, histolytica. Okay? Uh, so uh, today you see a lot of people who are bloated, uh, they're huge, see, guys my age, skinny arms, skinny legs, big gut, what is that, they fat? No, they are full of gas because the bad bacteria uh, is prevailing because they are consuming too much industrialized food, it's killing the good bacteria and it's feeding the bad bacteria, they're full of gas. So lemon and honey kills the bad bacteria and I did de dedicated a whole video to that, so check out my videos. Uh, Eduardo is my wonderful director, my brother, and also my master in Taekwondo. <laughs> Eduardo, how many videos do we have all together, English and Portuguese? Oh, around 200. 200, okay. So look through our little list and you're going to find I dedicated just to what to do for bloating, okay? So that's in another video. But anyhow, let's continue. So with your paleo diet, which is a handful of protein and three handfuls of fruits and vegetables I want you, let's say um, you had a turkey salad, perfect, and water with a squeeze of lemon, okay? Perfect. All right, let's talk about, let's start with the really bad. So let's talk about alcohol. I don't want to denigrate a company. For some reason you can see a hint of a company. I'm sorry, it was not meant to be. Um, alcohol. So let me tell you about the corruption of medicine. Yes. Yes. There is even corruption in medicine, much less in America, much less than other professions, but there is corruption, okay? So it's the alcoholics that find themselves in academe, that find themselves in science. They say wine, wine, wine is protective of your heart, it's uh, the orex protect your aging process, true, true, true. What they fail to mention to you is that wonderful study by M.D. Anderson, a famous uh, medical center in Texas, which overwhelmingly showed about six years ago that any, no threshold, any degree of alcohol 
uh, increases cancer. Okay? Any concentration of alcohol increases uh, the chances of cancer. Okay? So, wine is good for you? Yes, but has a risk of cancer. And a grape juice has all the same benefits. Sends, sends the risk without the risk. Okay? All right, so I don't talk about alcohol anymore. Uh, let's talk about my last time I had alcohol was 1974. All right. So let's talk about uh, soda pop. Gosh, I don't have to explain, do I, guys? All right, so just the acidity of soda pop, again, I don't want to denigrate any company, um, is the same acidity, pH about 3, is the same acidity as your battery in your car. What if you put a bone inside the acid in your battery? It becomes pliable. So it's going to demineralize your bones. It's going to eat through your teeth, okay? How about the sugar? Gosh, there's so many bad things, you guys. I don't have to go into it, but let me just touch on this point. I'm going to teach you how to decipher. I was a chemistry major before I became a surgeon. Uh, two Harvard degrees. I want to decipher what they mean on the label. So I'll give you a really simple scale. When they say 40 milligrams, it means 10 heaping, heaping spoons of sugar, white sugar, okay? So let's say it says 23, five tablespoons, heaping. Just your soda pop alone will make you very fat, okay? Let's talk about coffee. Uh, and some of these other uh, drinks which are very popular nowadays. I have, a, again, a whole video talking about coffee. I invite you to go to it. Coffee. I'll break down to the worst things. Not caffeine. Caffeine, good for you. Coffee, bad. Caffeine, good. Coffee, bad. The curing process that even requires bones, bones like a cemetery, has cyanide. Again, I was a chemistry major. Cyanide, trace levels of cyanide which is the, you got it, the same thing they used in the concentration camp of Nazi Germany. Yes. So it basically, uh, uh, it, uh, the, phos the oxidative cycle uh, in the ATP, it disconnects the oxygen. You're going to die a horrible death, okay, in other words. So resume, just summarizing coffee. It's going to demineralize your bones, it's going to block the absorption uh, of vitamin D, which blocks calcium, and it's going to block B complex, make you very nervous, very sad, very depressed. Coffee? No. Caffeine? Yes. Juices. And I'll finish up here. So juices, you can be in the middle of the freaking Amazon. You can have your juicer, you can have your fruit, you're going to peel your fruit, throw the peel. There's no garbage in the Amazon. You're going to throw the peel on the floor. <laughs> And you're going to juice your fruit. You're going to gain weight. What? Repeating. Even if you're on the freaking Amazon and you juice your fruit, you can get the mango off the, tr the mango tree. And you juice it, you're going to gain weight. How is that possible? Right? What's in the fruit? Fructose. Duh. Uh, does fructose make you gain weight? Oh, yes, it does. Yes. Look at the glycemic number of fructose. Look at the glycemic number of fructose. It's significant. It's significant. All right. What's going on, Ray? When you peel that fruit in the husk, in the husk was the fructase, the amylase, the cellulase, A-S-C, ACE means what? Enzyme breaks down. So if you eat the same fruit, yum, 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 you're not going to gain weight. But if you juice it, you will gain weight. Why? Because in the husk was the enzyme that breaks down the sugar, which is called fructase. Okay? So for now on, babies, I want you to eat, to drink water with a squeeze of lemon. Why not gas water? Why not sparkling water? We'll finish there. How do we put out a fire? Remember the, the triangle of fire, of a flame, right? You need fuel, you need oxygen, etc. 
Uh, one of the pillars of a fire is oxygen, okay? Oxygen. So, uh, 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 oxygen, you uh, put out a fire with oxygen, okay? Um, so, what is the fire extinguisher, that red thing in, it, in the hall? CO2. That's it, that's it. The active ingredient is CO2. You throw on the flame and the flame goes out because you took out the oxygen. You took out one of the legs of the fire. Do this experiment for me. Drink a whole cup of sparkling water and try to remember your mom's cell phone number. You will not be able to remember it for a few seconds. Why? It sucked out all the oxygen of your brain. That's right, made you dumber. That's correct. And your brain without oxygen is dumb, dumb, okay? So no sparkling water, yes, no sparkling water. Not to mention the pH, which is very low, bad for your teeth, okay? I'll give you one little bonus, that's coconut water. Coconut water, when you're sad one day, go to the beach, ask them to chop off a coconut, drink coconut water directly from the coconut, and try to be sad, not possible. Because coconut juice, coconut water, is so full of B complexes, B1, B6, B5, niacin, B12, com uh, choline, all the B complexes, which makes serotonin makes you very happy. All right, guys, I love you very much. And it's Dr. Ray saying over and out because I love you. Ciao.